Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to create this really pretty smoky eyes. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, I'll be using an eyeshadow base before I apply any eyeshadow because an eyeshadow base will make sure that our eyeshadows last all day long and the eyeshadows that we're going to use on top of this apply better because it has something to stick to. I'll be applying this color all over her eyelid, passing the crease slightly. Next, uh, using a contour color, whatever color you want, any mid-tone color you want. I'll be using this brown, brown warm matte color to define the crease even more because her eye socket is not very defined so I'm using this to create shadow and an illusion that her eyes are more deep set if you don't know where to place this color uh, it's supposed to be in your socket but if you don't know where your socket is place your fingers in between your brow bone and the lash line the part that sinks in the hollows of your the contours of the eyes where you want to place this color shimmer reflects light and mattes create depth so you want to make sure that you do not use shimmery eyeshadow in this part. Blending is key to a smoky eye, so just feather the eyeshadow color out. Next, to create even more definition, I'm going to use a darker eyeshadow. Uh, it's matte, and I'm going to be focusing this in right in the crease of her eyes. This is not going to be as feathered out as the eyeshadow that we used previously. This is going to stay in the crease and just in the outer, outer corner. Next, using an eyeshadow, a clean eyeshadow brush, you, I'm going to blend the two uh, contour colors that we just used together. Using a clean eyeshadow brush will make the blending process a lot easier. Next, I'll be using an eyelid color. I'm using shimmer because this will bring out her eyelids even more because shimmer reflects light. You want to make sure this stays in the eyelid because we don't want to add shimmer and reflect light in the places that we just added depth and shadow. To balance out the eyeshadow, I'll be using a dark color on the lower outer lash line. Not all the way because using this all the way will make our eyes uh, smaller. I'll be putting this in her crease as well to darken them even more. Uh, blend or fix anything if you want to. I'll be using a highlighter in the inner eye corners because a light in the center of the face is very flattering. So you want to make sure that the center of the face is the lightest part. The lightest part, the you want to add light and attention in that area. That's what I mean. Okay, I'll be drawing little hairs in her eyebrows because she has really sparse eyebrows. You can't really see it because I filled her eyebrows prior to filming. But if you do this, make sure you blend because you don't want the eyebrows to look too strange and strong looking. Line her, line, line your eyes. Make sure that you line as thin as possible, especially with my model. She has really uh, limited eyelid space, and I don't want to eat the space up. Apply mascara, and put on some blush. Any blush color you want will be fine, but I'll be using a pink color because it complements the eyeshadow and her skin tone. I'll be putting more mascara after this, but I didn't film me putting on mascara because I find it really difficult. Um, to film and then put on any lipstick color you want I'll be using a baby pink lip balm on her apply apply false lashes or put on more mascara but I'm gonna put, put on false lashes because it's easier and it gives a more dramatic feel to the eyes and that's it this is the look done I hope you enjoyed the video and this is my first time doing a voiceover, so please go easy on me. Okay, bye.